Welcome to Invest for Excel video tutorial. Today we will create and analyze the profitability of a new production line. Let's imagine that we would like to invest in a new production line to manufacture the high-end aluminum parts. Our goal is to understand whether this idea is profitable or not. We will use Invest for Excel software, which allows making a professional analysis quickly and effortlessly. This is the main screen of Invest for Excel. It resides inside of a familiar Microsoft Excel spreadsheet, and you can easily use all your favorite functions when you need it. Now let's switch back to Invest for Excel menu. If you have questions, try our smart user manual guide. There you can find formulas, explanations, and pictures. There is also a very handy option of changing the program language and the language of your calculation files. Great, now let's start the actual modeling. Let's create a new file, which is an asset investment, and save it with a descriptive name. The next thing that Invest for Excel asks us to do is to define the calculation term. Let's select a detailed periodization. We will start in the beginning of July 2022. The calculation term will be split into two calculation phases. Let's check the description box to be able to rename our phases. Construction phase, which is six months, will be created on a semi-annual basis. An operation phase, which is 10 years, will be created on an annual basis. Now let's fill the rest of the information required for our first section that is called basic values. As you can see, there are white cells and gray cells. White ones are protected, you cannot enter any values there. However, gray cells are editable, and here you need to enter the information such as name of the project, units, currency, let's say we expect a certain rate of return of 10%, and our income tax rate is 20%. Great, that was our first step. By pressing buttons with index fingers, we can jump to the next step or come back to the previous one. We will skip the contact information section just to save time, and go straight to the investment table. In the investment table, we need to define our capital expenditures according to their payment schedule. But first of all, let's take a look at the structure of our calculation file. We have two calculation phases, construction phase, which is six months created on a semi-annual basis, and the operation phase, which is 10 years created on an annual basis. Here you can also see the so-called zero period column which reflects the situation at the very beginning of your project. By default, we have 10 investment accounts. However, we can expand this table up to 30 investment accounts, each having its own depreciation settings. In our case, we have only two investments. Let's hide the rows, which we are not going to use. Now let's define our first investment account, the machines. We pay 1 million euros straight away in July 2022 and another 600,000 at the end of the construction phase. Now we need to define the depreciation for this investment account. Here we can define depreciation method. In our case, it is straight line, time frame, 10 years, and when to begin our depreciation. We will begin our depreciation when our actual production starts in 2023. Also, we can define where this particular item will be allocated in our balance sheet. In our case, it's under machinery and equipment category. As you can see, the depreciation has been calculated. Let's enter the second investment account, the buildings. We pay 600,000 straight away in July 2022 and another 200,000 at the end of the construction phase. Now we will define the depreciation for this investment account. It is straight line for 20 years and we will begin depreciation in 2023. The balance sheet category is buildings and structures. The depreciation has been calculated and you can see that this investment account has a residual value of 400,000 euros. Perfect. Now let's move to the next step, the income statement. 
Here we can describe our expected incomes and costs. Let's see how it works. In our case, we have only one source of income, sales revenue. Let's open up two sub rows to calculate it. Our two sub rows have been created. To calculate our sales, we need to multiply the number of units that we are going to produce with the selling price. The multiplication operator can be found on the left. Now let's enter the number of units for the first operation period, 9000 units, and press Copy and Distribute button to distribute this value throughout the whole calculation with a 5% annual growth rate. Check this box to see your annual change in the income statement. And now we can see that our value has been distributed with an annual change of 5%. Let's repeat this action with the selling price, which is 300 euros, this time taking into account the annual growth rate of 2%. Now our expected income has been calculated. Let's start defining our variable costs. Let's open up two sub rows here as well. To multiply the number of units with the cost per unit. Since we have already defined the number of units before, we can just refer to that value above by entering the equal sign and selecting the right cell. Please note that when we use the copy in distribute function, Invest for Excel has already identified that the cell has a formula inside, and it automatically offers to distribute it as a formula rather than a value. Our costs per unit are 210 euros. Let's distribute this value with a 2% annual growth. Great, our variable costs have been calculated. At last, we can define our fixed costs. Let's say that our fixed costs are 300,000 euros and they grow by 2% annually. We are modeling a very simple case and there are rows that we did not use. Let's hide them by pressing the Select Empty Rows button. Now our income statement looks much cleaner. We defined our incomes and costs. And Invest for Excel has already calculated all important ratios for us, such as EBITDA and net income. Let's proceed to the next step. It is time to see how much money is tied up in the working capital. We can choose either to enter the average cash flow delay in days per period or enter the estimated average values in the adjusted balance rows. Let's use the first option. We expect to receive the payments from our customers on average with 30 days delay. And let's say that our average term of payment for our current liabilities is 20 days. As you can see, Invest for Excel has automatically calculated the amount of working capital required for our project. Finally, Invest for Excel offers us to look at the automatically generated cash flow statement and balance sheet. The cash flow statement gives a valuable overview of the project we simulate. For instance, one of the most important items in this report is free cash flow, because the profitability indicators are calculated based on this row. Another important item is cumulative total cash flow. By monitoring this item, we can see whether our project requires extra financing or not. Financing can be created in Invest for Excel and the cash flows of financing can be easily loaded here in the long-term depth. The second report is the balance sheet. 
Here we don't have to enter any data, this report is created automatically and we can use it for our own analysis. Key financials table is made for your own ratios and parameters that you may want to analyze. Data entered here will be automatically included in the sensitivity analysis. We can also add some extra financial ratios from the list. Please note that these ratios usually used on a company level for business planning or valuation. For a simple investment calculation like ours, some of them would be misleading. At least it would require to include the project financing for some of them to make sense. For now, let's select a few ratios from the list – capital turnover ratio and asset turnover ratio – and press OK. The ratios have been calculated automatically and you can see the formulas as comments. Let's make a quick overview of what we have already done. We entered basic values, defined our capital expenditures, modeled our expected incomes and costs, we have calculated the required amount of working capital, went through our cash flow statement and balance sheet and added a few extra financial ratios. Now it's time to look at our results. By pressing the next button, Invest for Excel is bringing us to the results screen. This report gives us a total overview of our project profitability. Here we can find the initial data and the profitability indicators which are important for the decision making, such as net present value, internal rate of return, return on net assets, value added, and others. The results screen only shows us how the project looks like with the initially specified numbers, and we may still need to adjust them to achieve the results that we want. One of the great ways to do it is to perform the break-even analysis. For example, let's try to find out the break-even value for the unit price. Let's use the ribbon menu to jump over to the income statement, select the cell where our rate is specified, and press the break-even button. Within just a few seconds, our break-even rate has been found. Now, if we switch back to the results screen, we can see that net present value is zero, which means that our project will start to pay itself off at this price level, and we can use it as a guideline to adjust the pricing. When the analysis is done, it is possible to press the undo break-even function to get our values back the way they were. For a more insightful analysis of our financial model, invest for excel offers us to look at the sensitivity analysis. There are 11 pre-built charts that have the same structure. Each of them reflects the impact of the chosen variable on the overall profitability. Let's take a look at the structure of the first chart. Here on the left side, you can see the variable, the discount factor. The second row represents the positive and negative change of the original variable and the third row shows us how this change affects the chosen profitability indicator. By default, it is net present value. By clicking this button, we can choose the profitability indicator we are interested in. For example, let's take a look at the discounted value added. Below, you can see the impact of this variable on other annual key financials. Let's select the right sample year, 2023. Please note that our key financials have not changed because the discount factor does not affect them. The second sensitivity analysis chart shows the total investments impact on profitability. This is the original assumption of our total investments. If our total investments are 2.4 million euros, our project's NPV is this much. Here we can see what will happen to the project's NPV if our total investments are 10-20% higher or 10 and 20% lower. Below you can see this change illustrated graphically. By selecting the right sample year, we can also analyze other annual key financials. The third table represents the income's impact on profitability. Same logic is applied here. What if our sales will be increased or decreased by 10-20%? How these changes will affect our profitability indicator? Let's take a look at the internal rate of return by selecting it from the drop-down list. Now let's select the right sample year, 2023, for our other annual key financials. And add those extra ratios that we entered in the key financials table. Now it's ready. In a similar way, we can analyze the variable costs. What if we are able to decrease our variable costs by 20%? will it substantially affect the profitability of our project.
Let's move to the next chart where we can see our fixed costs. Will our project still be profitable if our fixed costs are 10% higher? As you can see, with the help of the sensitivity analysis charts, you can quickly analyze various scenarios and check how sensitive is your project to the change. In addition to that, we have six extra pre-built charts, where you can choose any calculation row as a variable for the sensitivity analysis. For example, let's say we are specifically interested in the selling price. Let's select our variable from the drop-down menu, selling price. Then we need to select the right sample year, 2023 and our complete sensitivity analysis chart is ready. Just a few clicks allow you to create a custom chart. You can create it manually or you can use a ready-made chart function. Let's select the analysis charts tab and create a tornado chart. This is so-called prioritization chart. In this case, even the slightest change of plus minus 10% in income brings the biggest impact on the net present value while the same change in variable costs brings a smaller impact on the MPV. Great, now it is a good moment to save our project. Often, we need to compare several scenarios of the same project. It is easy to do in invest for excel We can use the Save As option and save this calculation file with another name. For example, Production Line Extra Investment. After that, we can edit our second scenario file according to our needs and use the comparison table to see which scenario is the most favorable. For our second scenario, let's assume that if we make an extra investment into the automation, we can automate some of the processes in our production line, which will allow us to cut our other fixed cost by 20%. First of all, let's rename our project to differentiate these two alternatives. Then let's add our extra investment Four hundred thousand at the end of the construction phase, and define the depreciation. It is straight line for ten years, and it will begin when our actual production starts in two thousand twenty-three. The balance sheet category is machinery and equipment. This extra investment allows us to cut our fixed cost by twenty percent. Let's reflect this change in our income statement. Let's find other fixed cost and multiply them with 0.8, that represents a 20% reduction. All changes have been reflected in our second scenario. Now let's open our first scenario so we have both of them open. Then let's go to the main screen of invest for excel create a new comparison table and save it with a descriptive name. The comparison table has six slots allowing us to compare up to six investment projects side-by-side side in key figures and visually. Let's press on the first slot button to load the data from our first project, and on the second slot to load the data from the second modified scenario. Our comparison table is now ready for our analysis with two alternative investment projects shown side-by-side. Side. We can compare the value of all investments, net present value, internal rate of return, return on net assets, and other metrics. Let's hide the unused slots by pressing the Hide Empty button. To compare project visually, we can take a look at the net present value, internal rate of return, and payback timesheets. Now our comparison table can be printed and brought to the decision-making meeting. I hope this video tutorial was useful. If you have any questions or would like to learn more about Invest4Excel, please let us know. We will be happy to hear from you.